Number 334. In a theater, there are 11 seats in the first row, 13 seats in the second row, 15 seats in the third row, 17 seats in the fourth row, and so forth. If there are 20 rows, how many seats are in this theater? So in the first row, we have 11. The second row has 13. The third row has 15. And the fourth row has 17. So what we have is an arithmetic sequence. We can see that the numbers are increasing by 2 every row. So the common difference is 2. This is the first term. We need to know the 20th term. There are 20 rows, so n is 20. Now we can keep going 20 times, but that's going to take some time. But we know the last term is the 20th term. So let's find the value of the 20th term using this equation. So a sub 20, a sub 1, we know it's 11, that's the first term. n is 20. The common difference is 2. 11 plus 2 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15, and so forth. Now, 20 minus 1 is 19, and 19 times 2 is 38. And then 38 plus 11 is 49. So the value of the 20th term is 49. Now that we have the value of the last term, or the number of seats in the last row, we can now find the sum. So the sum of the first 20 terms. But let's write the general formula. The partial sum of an arithmetic sequence, it's equal to the first term times the value of the last term divided by 2 times the number of terms. So we want to find the sum of the first 20 terms. The first term is 11. The 20th term is 49 divide by 2 times the number of terms. So we have 11 plus 49, that's 60. Now 20 divided by 2 is 10. 60 times 10 is 600. So that's the answer. That is the sum of the first 20 terms. So that's how many seats there are in this theater. There's 11 seats in the first row, 13 in the second row, and there's 49 seats in the third row. When you add all these seats together, you're going to get 600.